If you're new to GTA RP, stick around because this video will probably be helpful to you. My name's Happy and I've been playing GTA RP for a little over a year and I've been making content within that time. This video is going to be a basic tips and tutorial for how to get started in GTA RP. Throughout this video, if you do find it helpful, please consider leaving a like and comment down below. So without further ado, step number one is always stay in character. When creating your character, you'll want to think up of a backstory, something that makes your character unique, and all your interactions in the city should be done as that character and not as yourself. There's certain terminology that you should be using. Instead of saying, I'll be AFK for two minutes, instead you would say, I'm in head for two minutes. Instead of saying, I'm lagging, you would say something like, I'm having a headache. And instead of saying, I'm connecting or disconnecting from the server, you would instead say, I'm flying in or I'm flying out. Lastly, instead of referring to keybinds as keys, refer to them as muscles. Instead of saying, what key do I press to buckle my seatbelt? Instead, you would say, what muscle is it to buckle my seatbelt? The last thing to note for staying in character is fear RP. Basically, every character should have some level of fear when they're threatened. So if you're by yourself and three masked men approach you with a gun, typically you're gonna go ahead and put your hands up because you're not gonna win a shootout against three people at that range. So instead of trying to pull out your gun and be a hero, take an L from time to time, go ahead and put up your hands and let the scene play out. Ultimately, you should be aiming for your character to not die. Next up, we're gonna talk about emotes, but before we do that, I did wanna remind you, always be sure to read your city's rules before you fly in, because if you break a rule, you could be banned from anywhere between one hour to permanently, depending on what rule you break. So now talking about emotes, the way you'll open up your emote menu is by your F4 button. Within the emote menu, you'll see emotes, walking style, and moods. Be sure to change your walking style and mood to make your character more unique. As far as emotes, these are a great bit of fun, and they can also be used to increase the quality of roleplay depending upon the scene. If you want to hotkey a specific emote, you will search for the emote and then use your left shift and enter. This makes it to where every time you press caps lock, it will pop up that emote. Long story short, use more emotes. Next up, let's talk about how to make money when you first fly into the city. Firstly, you will need a car, so it's best to always fly into Legion because there is a vehicle rental in walking distance from it. As far as on the map, you'll be looking for a purple car emblem. All you have to do is walk up to the guy, use your left alt muscle, and then you can go ahead and interact with them and pick out which car you like to rent. Now that you have a car, the most logical place to go is the casino. You'll be able to get $1,000 every single 24 hour period. All you have to do is talk to the front desk lady and you also get one spin at the wheel. The wheel spin can get you all kinds of different prizes, but long story short, it's a free way to get money. Aside from the casino, you can also type slash invest and you'll have a couple of different options. Typically, I go for the one hour. This is going to give you $2,500 every single hour. Next up, we have legal and illegal jobs. Unfortunately, I can't go into depth for a lot of these because there's something that you should find out while you're playing in city. But what I will do is give an overview of what the jobs are like. Firstly, there are legal jobs. These are marked all throughout the map. These are jobs that you can do at any time and make a set amount of money for completing certain tasks. Some examples of this would be lumber supply, the bus driving job, treasure hunting, and the oil rig. There are even more come and go jobs throughout the city and these do update and change week to week. So the best tip I have for you is when you do fly in, ask people around you what job is paying good right now and maybe they'll show you how to do it. So the main tip I can tell you is when you fly in city, find a friend and see how they're making money, maybe tag along. So the main tip would be drive to these locations and try them out for yourself or find a friend in the city that can maybe show you the ropes. Aside from these come and go jobs, there are a bunch of player owned businesses throughout the city. Each of these jobs sell a certain item and if you do work for them, you'll get an hourly rate as well as a commission on everything you sell. Some examples of these are the weed shop, all the fast food locations, as well as all the sit in restaurants. You also have all the strip clubs as well. If you get a job at one of these type of places, you will actually have to go to that specific business in character and usually do an interview process. There's no guarantee that you will be hired, but it's best to try to become friends with the people in management. That way you're a shoot. The next type of job we'll talk about are government jobs like police, EMS, lawyer, and judge. These you have to apply for in Discord, and typically these are more advanced jobs. They typically pay pretty well, but they're not something that you're gonna be able to do fresh into the server. Lastly, we have the most common way to make money, and that's the illegal jobs. Due to metagaming rules, I can't really explain any of the illegal jobs. What I can tell you is, if you are interested in that line of work, go ahead and join a gang. You'll start out in the bottom ranks, and they will kind of show you what to do. You'll make money along with the gang, and overall, it's a pretty fun time. So yeah, join a gang. Each of these gangs do control different areas of the map. And just as an example, some of the ways they make money is drug dealing, bank robberies, and stuff like that. 
all in all there's a lot to learn and just a lot to do if you do join a gang so i would highly recommend it next up let's talk about keybinds okay to start straight away tab is going to be your most important keybind this is going to open up your backpack you have your hotkey slots here so anything you put between one and five will correspond with one and five on your keyboard usually you're going to use stuff like weapons band-aids stuff that you'll need to pull out in an instant. Next is your F1 key. By holding F1, you have this wheel that pops up and you have all kinds of different interactions, rob, kidnap, escort, hostage, put in vehicle and take out a vehicle. These two are really good. If you have someone stuck in a vehicle they need to take out, or if you need to put somebody who's dead in a vehicle, you can use that one. For citizen, you have get in truck and a emote menu. And for general, you have clothing options and other stuff here. F4 is our emote menu. We did talk about this earlier, but just again, if you do search for a specific emote, like let's say this one, armchair, use your left shift and enter. That now creates a hotkey for my caps lock. So every time you press caps, you can do that specific emote. Your F7 will open up a billing menu where you can pay or create invoices. And F8 will open up your command menu this is where you can type in certain prompts like if you want to bind special keys to certain actions you'll be able to do so through here you can also leave the game like so for vivid elevate and hypix if you use your f9 key it's going to open up the shop this is for donations where you'll be able to trade essentially donations for certain items within the city some other ones we have is right control will lay you down left control is for crouch and x is to put your hands up you'll use t to pull up your chat menu some of the things that you'll use in the chat menu is reload skin this is for if you have any props that are stuck to your character if you reload skin it'll go back to its default state and if you want to get rid of the text on the top left you'll use slash clear also if you want to buckle your seatbelt in your car you'll use b lastly if you type slash me and then any statement it will actually pop up above your head this can be used to enhance rp or it can be used to communicate with somebody without having to break the scene of role play that about wraps it up for this tutorial video if i did miss any important tips be sure to leave them down in the comment section below if you did find this video helpful please be sure to smash the like button thanks for watching and i'll see you later